Uh, A1, your port one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, A1 not opting for the Falcon Ditto, going straight to Pika. Yeah, interesting. Maybe knowing that Henny is so dedicated to Falcon, yeah, just does not uh, want to ditto him, and he gets that extremely quick stock the first 10 seconds. Yeah, he catches his jump when he's recovering off stage. Not much Falcon can do there. <laughs> LP, not ideal, straight up and over onto the stage, but Henny does not capitalize. Yeah, some, uh, some input errors here from both sides, I think. Doubt he wanted that up B. We saw a missed shield drop come out as a roll from Henny to both these guys it coming in a form. Oh, the get up attack. It looks wow. like a regular get up. That is harder to edge up. guard than it looks. You know? Yeah. I think usually the move is to use an aerial at A1. I think he still takes that trade, right? Yeah. You know, takes Messes it up, up the up B. But uh, not ideal, obviously. He could have been up two stocks. But really, he's all over Henny. I don't think he's... That Fastball there loses his stock again. He just needed to find a bear. That situation looked so good for A1. Yeah, I was going to say, every other aspect of the game, A1's looked uh, pretty dominant in this quick game. Yeah, both stocks but, have been SDs. But yeah, it's got to clean those up. A1 has taken every stock that has been taken this game. <laughs> he's taken five stocks. And there's only three left. Yeah, he's he's looking to take the rest right now. Oh, and nice! He, yeah, I love that slow fall air for for a a counter pick that I don't think is seen quite so often from A one. He is looking dominant in this game. Yeah, he looks really prepared. I have seen him play Pika before. He actually went Pika against me uh, when I picked Puff. Apparently, he hates the Puff matchup as Falcon. So I, I love knew, that. I knew he, I know it's so yeah. fun. I knew he had it, but and Henny takes his first stock. Yeah, suddenly we're on last, last stock, stock here. <laughs> the up air out of the corner doesn't work with Pikachu at such low percent. I really love that slow nair from A1 to try to punish the shield. Yeah, and if Henny takes this one, I don't think A1's going to be able to forgive himself. But yeah. hopefully he can make it a moot point right here. Oh, he gets, gets grabbed. grabbed. It looked like the edge guard was so perfectly set up. Another fast one forward air. He loves these fares. And Henny might win this game without having done a single standard combo. <laughs> Wild against Pikachu. Yeah. Of all characters. Maybe oh, a single combo that at all. Ford tilt was very smart, just a little too late. The bear catches him. He needs to find another edge guard. And Great DI, but smash. that's not enough. Yeah. Oh. A1 <laughs> narrowly avoids being his own worst enemy. In yeah, that first A1 game. taking seven stocks in this game. But narrowly holds on to his eighth. Yeah. Hope hopefully at the very least that game being as close as it was. Um, helps Henny keep his head in this game because it did not look great for him. Yeah, uh, yeah. But but you A1, can go a lot of ways with that, right? Yeah. You know, you could see that shaking A1's confidence. You can see him here switching characters. Right. Or you could see sometimes you have a game like that that's close just because one player makes mistakes. Then that player turns it around and suddenly it's a forest hawk. You know? Right. So it, it can be yeah. hard to predict. Yeah. A1 again, switching the Falcon here using the green switch. Falcon, which I hate on Dreamland. Because. Uh, yeah, again, A1's Pika did not look bad by any means outside of those SDs, but those SDs were huge. Yeah, his, his Pika looked really good, actually. I yeah. loved that uh, Nair to punish the shield on top platform. That was really cool. Henny strikes me as the kind of guy that loves the Falcon Ditto. Oh, um, yeah. I don't know if that's a uh, true fact or not, but it's just something I get from his personality. Moses, find the combo. Usually, usually an indictment, but it's not this time. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, and uh, A1 starting off again pretty strong, but Henny. Oh, I love that. The great fair combo. to Nair, great awareness. Starts the Nair immediately, knows what he's comboing into. It looks a little reminiscent of something that uh, A1 did yesterday. I can't remember exactly, but he had a very nice offstage combo that we oh, commented. Yeah. Well, that fair shield pressure, good DI from A1. Looks like it spooked Henny a little bit. Doesn't yeah. go for a long combo. Henny's got to work on finishing his. <laughs> oh, these guys missing their up smashes. The beauty of the Falcon Ditto. It's sort of like a, like an unconscious reaction. Like you hit your knee and you kick. Someone's <laughs> in front of you and you up smash, you know? All right. They're not in control of it. 
And Henny does what he needs to do. Grab the ledge, take the stock. Henny looking a lot better here. I'm not sure if this character switch was the right move. No. Look at these punishes on the side platforms. He knows exactly what he's doing. These nares Beautiful into the up combo. smash. Beautiful combo. And just down there there. Instead, he goes for that B. That works as well. You have Falcon much heavier. We saw those combos not work for Henny against Kirby. Too light. Works perfectly against Falcon. Yeah. Henny with another great and setup another, here. Goes oh, the reverse bear. Oh. What is this? <laughs> And A1 <laughs> makes it back. Oh man, I think that I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with you that Henny likes this matchup. Yeah. I think Henny likes this matchup. Yeah, I, I could tell just from his personality that he is a a man of the ditto. And A1, I don't know, man. Like his Falcon is is good, but he looked outclassed yeah. after pretty heavily dominating him. He maybe he's afraid to go back to the Pika, but I think that's the play. Yeah, but after those first two games, if those were the only games I saw, I would have assumed he was a Pika man. Pika man, yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, but he goes back to the Pika. I think this is the right move. You just got to, you know, clean up the recoveries. Yeah, that's all. I mean, it was really just like SDs. His neutral game and his punishes looked very clean. Yeah. He had a couple miss edge guards, but, you know, it's Pika. Like, it, you're yeah. going to have a couple. He wafted uh, back air right in front of him. He's already showing a lack of confidence in the neutral now. Uh, Fastball dare. Oh, I like that recovery. angle. That was yeah. sick. There's no landing lag there because he spaced it perfectly. There we he go. Finds the grab. He goes for the nair. Good edge yeah, guard. Immediate runoff turnaround nair. A1 really looking like a Pika man. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this say. is not like a guy who just picks up Pika for no, fun. No, this does not look like secondary status at all. He's really no. looking good. And he's talking to him, though. He's ready now. Definitely warmed up. Played a ton of these games. Finds the grab. Moses some good DI, but he combos straight into the dare. Yeah, and he gets the kill straight off. No chance of recovery. And he completely cleaning this up. Finds up. the up smash. Nair into a tech chase. Oh, he went for another tech chase. I don't think you want two in one punish unless you absolutely have to. But he cleans it up and immediately finds up air to Nair. Henny looking it's like a completely different player. Wow, These yeah. These combos. After that first game, yeah, first never game would have Yeah, first game we guessed. saw zero combos. Yeah. We really did not see much of anything from Henny that first game, yeah. but this time he is looking great. Great adjustment to being pushed off from Wispy. Keep him on the platform. A1, too aggressive. He could have just upbeat the ledge there. And now... Henny missed the down air, and that could be an oh, interesting weird. interaction, okay. but... He just finds the up air there. Maybe he just wanted the percent, honestly. He's up three stocks to one. Yeah. I feel like back throw might have killed him. No, it was just he didn't expect to get the grab. Yeah. Nobody expected him to get the grab. He was probably trying to dash forward. But he finds it that time, and that's going to do it. Henny and that's somehow turning it around. I saw a lot of, uh, a lot of missed interactions from... A1 that just involved placing backers right in front of Henny. And that could have been an adjustment from Henny. Maybe a little in inexperience from A1's Pika that we didn't see in the first game. But uh, Henny 